Hey folks, I thought I'd just show you these. Um, I bought these in Germany. I'm looking around because I can't see the box. Here it is. I bought these in Germany the other day. It's a carving set. Uh, it's quite funny. Look at the picture. It's got like a piece of fine art and then this big knife coming in. It's not that sort of knife that's in these. There's various blades. In this video, I'll just show you. Uh, I did start sharpening them. So, and then I thought, no, it's, it went to 20 minutes. So I stopped and. Uh, just show you what's in it. Uh, I will say one thing about them after having a go at sharpening them. They've got a good angle, but the angle might be too fine. And what I'm going to have to probably do is put a second bevel on them. Just because if with a too finer angle, your curling ends obviously likely on some at flat blades. That's not that's all right as a as a gouge, but the flatter blades need a slightly uh, second bevel on it. They're so fine on the ends that. You, when you're using them, you just you can curl them easy, and I don't want to be curling them. I want them to stay sharp, so a second bevel on back of there won't do it any harm. You know what I mean? But I'll go on with it and show you the tools. Oh, I might show you me uh, love shack as well. Love shack, baby. So guys, something a little bit different for you guys that are interested in carving. Um, when I was in Germany. The other day I bought this it's a little hand carving set there's not a, a knife per se like this in it but there's some um, gouges and a V tool and some various others now this it's got it says it's got a 10-year guarantee look um, this is from a well it's obviously named that's named at store tool um, And that's the contact details for where it's made yeah now this cost less than eight euros for all ten so at that price it's not bad you know what I mean I'll just show you different blades uh, now these are designed for like doing some you know there's there's a curved blade it's for getting into places try and lay them out I mean, there's some really handy shaped blades here. Now, they do want sharpening. I have had a slight go at some of them. But they're not bad. The handle's not bad. The um, grind on them, it's not bad. And see, that's about a 20, 22. It's a good, there's a good, you know, angle's pretty good on them. Another gouge. So, two different size flat chisel head that's like um, I don't know what they call it um, plexiglass knife and there's like a scalpel blade these are good for getting right into the stuff that blade I use is like a, an inch blade it's a bit bigger inch and half I think and sometimes it, you nick stuff that's another flat blade chisel so there's two chisels there's two skewed blades there third skew blade a slightly bigger gouge there's three different sizes at gouges another skew blade slightly different size that little VTOL that's nice to have and then this little like spearhead point I've got to make a rack for these incidentally but I've got to give them a sharpen but I'm saying on the uh, Oh, now they are. I'll see if I can find a, one of these. Oh, I've got some. This is a cheap set. And I ain't ground this one up. I've got another... I've ground... I had two sets of these. And I've, and I've ground them up. But you can see that's a 45 degree angle. You can't use that at that angle. That's got to be... That's got to be ground right back. Can I get angle right? That's got to be ground right back to get a decent angle on it. So it'll cut. That won't cut. As it is. Can I get that in shot? Unless you come in like really steep angle, it just won't cut. You know what I mean? Now these, as I say, need sharpening. As you can see, they're painted on inside, so that's that's got to be polished off. I've, what I have got to do to be able to sharpen these is I've got to make some 
um, sort of tool or some sort of shape so I can polish it inside of that so it can be filed or sanded and then buffed but even at that that's I haven't touched that but angles nice you know to, to actually cut it's not perfect probably going the wrong way on the green yeah, to be honest but it does cut and that's straight from factory that's even without that side polish the V tool itself I did have a quick go at that if I can find it where are you V tool you're there I did polish back of that a bit and try to get in, inside and that cuts nice not quite nice you know what I mean wrong way and there's not a lot of effort there and you can get nice little curls off with it but it still wants some more work but as a set at that price couldn't believe it you know and just with a little bit of work on 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 um, cleaning them up now and uh, giving them a bit of polish then it should go well I'll uh, just get a stone out and have a go at it even better if I did it here I mean this is just flat chisel head so all I'm going to do is flatten it like a normal chisel go for the rough side momentito But these are a bit dusty. It's polishing up quite nice. Wonder how hard steel is on them. Probably not very hard. <laughs> that ten-year guarantee gives me a gives me a laugh. <laughs> laugh. So the Love Shack is installed for Athena and Mango. Let me show you its features. Inspection hatch. Plexiglass removable for cleaning. But child proof. Brother and, little brother and sister proof. But if there are any eggs, we will know. I didn't do a build video. I just thought I'd show you. Just in case love is in the air. And anyway, if there is a zombie apocalypse, we can need as much protein as we can get. Why are you facing the camera to me? Yeah. Fresh asparagus from the garden. Mayonnaise. Oh. And salad for men. 